Hello guys, welcome back to IQ Collect. Today I'm gonna make a video on um, virtualization, how to install Kali Linux on Hyper-V Windows 10. So, what is Hyper-V? Hyper-V is a virtualization technology tool for Microsoft. Like, it's mostly available on Windows 10, Enterprise, Education, um, I think that's the only version that's like you can really find Hyper-V but I kindly not know if you can install Hyper-V on Windows 7 or 8 well I'm gonna try it next time on our next video so now um, Hyper-V allows you to create one or multiple virtualization virtual machines to install or run different operating systems like to, be, to do some testing and all the like so Let's get started. Actually, I've uh, installed Hyper-V. Actually, I've activated it on my machine. So let's get started. All right. This is what I got. So, go to new, that's our machine. Next. Now here, we're gonna write the name of the, of the virtual machine, so. This is what we got. Um, you can name it anyhow. Like I will write Linux. Then here you're gonna. It depends on you. You can change the location or you can like use the default location. As for me, I'm gonna change it. And make sure you create a, a folder for you to store all the different files of the operating system. That's really important. So, select the folder, click on next, generation one, because at times when you choose a second generation, it doesn't really specify whether you can install a 32 or a 64 bit operating system. So, we never know. So, you got to choose generation one. Then, click on next. Now, for the dynamic memory, you uncheck it. I'm gonna use this one. Click on next. All right. Use on default switch because uh, actually you're gonna be using your network adapter configurations. So I think it's better to do that than to use no no connected, and you're gonna buy. I don't think it's quite expensive to afford for a network adapter than to like use for your own computer. So click on next. You're gonna assign a maximum size of your okay. Let's take like um, 60 gigs. Yeah, I think it's all right. 60 60 is all right. Uh, you can name it anyhow like you can name it um actually it's in the looks as for me i'm all right with that all right you can click on next now from here I'm gonna specify where the iso files are so this is it you can download it on kali kali linux.org i'm gonna leave the link on the description of the video so continue next finish and that is it actually let's try to create this gonna gonna create the the virtualization is actually crazy it's popping up it's taking some time good so what's next we're gonna run it gonna run it okay actually it's starting okay 
this is Kali Linux. Basically, after installation, you can render a white bigger than this. So, go to graphical installation. Graphical installation. Click there. Get some seconds. Most of the time, people like to use um, virtual box for their own virtualization or as for me, I prefer to use um, Hyper-V. It's more easier than to download any other software. Well, Windows 10 have adapted it already. Microsoft adapted Hyper-V in Windows 10 already, so you don't more like you don't more need to to go download the firmware or VirtualBox. Thing Hyper-V is really be is really better. So, anyway, I was gonna take time, take a little bit of time. Yep, yep, yep. If you follow the steps of this video, you're gonna install Kali Linux perfectly. But if you don't, I bet you it won't run. Actually, if you don't really like follow the steps, it will crash. Because I can assure you, it took me a lot of time to figure out how to really install it on Hyper-V. So I hope you guys will enjoy this video. Well, now, here we are. The host name, as for me, I can, you can put anything you want. You leave the domain name empty. So now uh, the root password, you can decide to put anything you want. All right, it can be as anyhow, not like quite can be quite short or long. Click on continue. On enter, continue. right now you can remark right here the space I gave are uh, located for this operating system like you can see is 194 gigabyte of 195 so the files are like that get installed as you can see okay guide use the uh, use entire disk yep 64 gigs yep uh, or it's actually recommended for new users to use uh, all the whole partition just one partition for the complete for the operating system if you are like being used to use Linux anyhow you can separate the home partitions or with the variable partitions and the temporary partitions well Basically, it's all the same stuff. So I personally prefer to use anyhow. Depends on you guys. Yeah. Yes. Actually, I'm partitioning them. All right. Now you click on next. Uh, you select the second option. Continue. So you're gonna install the grub loader, and uh, I think that will be that for the installation.
all right then after finished after the installation complete you're gonna select Kali Linux graphical user interface Linux and uh, that, 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 that running so let's see what's gonna happen mm hmm it's quite slow well let's see see the configurations Yep. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. As you can see, it's quite slow. I can increase the, proce the virtual processor because right now. The visualization is quite slow and for the Linux to get like get ready to so for us to see the Linux is gonna take a little bit of time. But anyway Alright That's the mouse already Oh Hmm all right. I remember each time you logged in, you need to log in as a root user, so as you can do some monitoring stuffs on Kali Linux. Okay, as you can see, I got but one processor. I'm gonna increase it later because the virtual machine is on actually, so I can't perform any change. All right, got it. Use a root and um, the password, enter your password and click on sign in, and that is it. was in time though oh my god well skin annoying
Alright, and this is well how Cadillus looks like. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So have uh, fun. Uh, big up.